While Korea has a number of major film industry awards, independent cinema has often been overlooked until the debut of last year's Wildflower Film Awards. Yesterday, they revealed the nominations for its second year of awards. Our film critic Pierce Conran joins us today with the details. Welcome back, Pierce. Hi there. All right, so this award show is not well known quite yet, so what can you tell us about this uh, event? Well, as you've already mentioned, it's a new award show. It's in the second year, it's, and it's set up to kind of recognize the uh, achievements of the independent film scene or the art film scene within Korea. Traditionally, there are a number of uh, very big award shows, such as the Grand Bell Awards or Daejeon Awards, mm -hmm. and the Blue Dragon Awards, and things like that. So, but this is the first one to kind of really focus just on independent film, because we have um, uh, independent films are very well regarded by local critics and by international film film festivals, but so they don't fare very well in theaters here, and right. perhaps that is largely a case of not getting a lot of visibility in theaters because of these kind of vertically integrated studios which control the, they, they make the films and they release them in their own theaters, so mm -hmm. there's not much space for anybody else. Mm -hmm. So what were some of the films uh, nominated for this year? Uh, well, there were 21 films in total, um, and uh, these came from a pool of 90 or so eligible films. And uh, for a film to qualify for uh, consideration, the budget needed to be under uh, 1 billion won, so just oh. under a, a million dollars. And uh, the film had to be released in theaters at some point in 2014. So um, of those 21, the most heavily nominated film was July Jung's debut, A Girl at My Door, which went to Cannes last year. And that was nominated, uh, of course, for uh, Best Actress, so two uh, Best Actress uh, nominations, actually, for Beduna and mm -hmm. uh, Kim Seron. Beduna, of course, uh, picked up the Best Actress Award at the Asian Film Awards mm -hmm. earlier this week in Macau. And then, of course, also for Best Director, Best Actor for uh, Song se Byuk, and uh, not far behind, there were also Lee Soo Jin's Han Gongju, oh. uh, with five nominations, uh, as well as uh, Umungi's uh, King of Joku. So they're both in the kind of Best Director category as well. And uh, Han Gongju has a, is a heavy favorite for Best Actress of Chun Hee, and uh, uh, Han, Han Jae Hong is up for Best Actor for uh, The King of Joku. Mm -hmm. uh, further behind, the four nominations apiece were Hong Sang Soo's Hell of Freedom, Jang Yeo's Gyeongju, and Lee Yong Sung's Ten Minutes. Well, that's a lot to digest. Just out of curiosity, so mm. how many categories are there in the Film Awards? Uh, it's changed a little bit from last year, but now they've settled on what they think are the, the 10 awards to go forward. So among those, we have you know, the standard awards like Best Actor, Best Actress, Best New Actor, Best New Actress, Best New Director, Best Screenplay, <laughs> Best Cinematography. I think you need to slow down a little bit there. <laughs> right. uh, I mean, those are all the normal awards. Okay, but, there uh, we go. We can at, see it on the screen, yes. At the, yeah, at the top, it's a little different mm -hmm. because we have, uh, there's the Grand Prize, and the Best Director Narrative and Best Director Documentaries. Mm -hmm. So what that is, there are actually seven nominees in each of those Best Director categories, mm -hmm. and among those 14, uh, the Grand Prize will also be chosen. Okay, so what are the films up for uh, the Grand Prize this year then? So uh, in the Narrative section, I've already outlined six of them that have got a lot of nominations, and the seventh of those is uh, Lee Song Hee's Night Flight, mm. uh, which got three nominations. And then uh, beyond that, there's the Documentaries, which also have been uh, having a very strong showing in cinemas recently, but because they're documentaries, they don't tend to get nominated in a lot of categories. Of course, there's no actors, there's no screenplay. Uh, but those are A Dream of Iron, Mansion, Nonfiction Diary, My Father's Emails, My Place, mm -hmm. The Controversial, The Truth Shall Not Sink with Sewell, and The Hospice. Okay, so and you mentioned that these all had to be screened in theaters last year, so they are out on DVDs for people who want to catch the films, maybe? Indeed, we are well into 2015 now, so these are no longer in theaters, and a number of them are available on DVD, Blu-ray, on Video On Demand, IPTV, mm. online, um, and the rest will be coming out soon. However, six of the nominated films, which have yet to be determined, will be screening uh, at the Seoul Theater as part of uh, the Wildf Wildflower Film Awards with English subtitles and also with uh, guest visits, uh, oh. um, question and answer sessions. Mm -hmm. Those will happen in the three days leading up to the awards themselves, which take place on April 9th, so those right. films will be screening from April 6th to 8th. Mm -hmm. And uh, there will also be a book uh, which they're, they're putting out. They're, it's the first year of what's called the Wildflower Film Awards Annual, a book which will focus on 11 uh, prominent Korean independent films with essays or interviews, and each car have had a specially commissioned illustration for them. And you were also telling me before the show that um, there are also a, a Q&A session with the directors in yes, the, yes. in the um, Film Awards. So how important do you think 
um, in your opinion, how important is this film award in terms of what kind of impact it will have on the local film industry? Well, so far it's already been very well received, and I would say for good reason. Uh, actually, the awards were set up by uh, Darcy Packett, who is a local film critic who's been based in Korea for a long time, mm -hmm. and uh, he kind of he's been thinking over the last few years that as kind of independent cinema has grown, there hasn't been kind of a body to really truly recognize it. Mm -hmm. Every so often, we see a film get a nomination at one of the big um, awards, and sometimes a film kind of breaks out. But by and large, the films that do kind of play well overseas or get, you know, top critics lists here in Korea at the end of the year, they don't get any major awards recognition. But we're mm -hmm. seeing that now with The Wildflowers, which uh, instead of just introducing films, it's also a way of kind of commemorating them. So as we look back over the years, if The Wildflowers continue to go on for a long time, we can go back and see what were the important independent films of a given year. Mm -hmm. And of course, for an independent movie director and want want to be directors, we will also get some encouraging, this will also be an encouraging factor for them Absolutely. in the future as well. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Pierce, for coming in today and sharing your insights. My pleasure as always.